Vietnam. We're down to the final four teams in the AFC. It's Sunday afternoon on NBC. This is Brad Powers in the pregame.com studios just off the Vegas trip. We're talking AFC divisional round. We have Pittsburgh traveling to take on Kansas City. I think this is the best playoff game of the week. Who do you like? Actually, like the under. That's right. We're taking the under here. And let's start off with this Pittsburgh Steelers defense. I think it's underrated. The offense gets the headlines, but you look at the last eight games during this win streak, the defense has only allowed 16.6 points per game. During that same time, they're number one in the NFL in sacks. They're number one in takeaways, and the betting markets just haven't caught up yet to how improved the Steelers' defense was down the stretch of the season. What has caused the improvement? Well, it, let, let's talk about it from a personnel aspect. First off, the Steelers coming into the season were very inexperienced to begin with. Then they inserted Harrison in the starting lineup, Bud Dupree in the starting lineup. They got back linebacker Shazier into the starting lineup after he was injured for four games. Add it all up, and you take that inexperience and turn it into experience. That's why they showed improvement down the stretch. Stats certainly look very good back end of the schedule, but the schedule also much easier. Let's look at who they played. Baltimore twice. Cleveland twice. Indianapolis with Scott Tolzien. Uh, the one time they had to play a good offense. Dallas, not so good. Well, they were still banged up at linebacker for the Dallas game, but let's compare Apples to apples. Let's talk about the team they faced at the beginning of the season and also at the end of the season, the Miami Dolphins. You look at Miami Dolphin running back Ajayi, 150-plus rushing yards in the first meeting. Last week in the playoffs, only 30 rushing yards. And that was my biggest prop that I went under on Ujayi, Ujayi under 74 rush yards. I'm glad you pronounced it first. Uh, he only got about 30, and he got completely shut down. That Pittsburgh defense is super confident. They are, which brings me to my second handicap, but it actually involves the offensive side. Let's address the 800-pound elephant in the world in the room, the Roethlisberger injury, the foot injury, which could make him less than 100%. We're not quite sure the walking boot came on as far as the press conference. It came off during the practice week, but even if he's 90% and it affects his mobility, that makes Pittsburgh probably less aggressive on offense, probably will lead to them being more conservative, especially late in the game. You know, I got to tell you, this total 44.5 looks about right to me. Given that the weather is decent and Big Ben is okay, I think you've got a double free roll going here. One, maybe Big Ben isn't okay. I think he will be, but I'm really not sure. And the forecasted uh, temperatures going to be right around 32 degrees, freezing rain likely. That could have a big impact as well. I love that there's two factors that could help your under. And not only do we have weather and the possible injury, but let's just talk about the mist conception about Pittsburgh. A lot of people think offense, they think they're an over team, they're a high scoring team. The under is actually 11 and 6 in their games this year. You add in the improvements on defense and we got a lot of factors in our favor here. Let's hope to bring it to 12 and 6. Let's make it official. Yeah, let's make this one official. We're taking the under here. We have a Steelers defense that is underrated. They showed great improvement in the second half of the season. Plus, we have the injury to Roethlisberger. The foot injury could cause uh, the Pittsburgh offense to be more conservative, and maybe even less effective. Add it all up, we're looking for a lower scoring game at Arrowhead. More videos at pregame.com.